in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and merciful, welcoming all of you with the Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, my lecture is for those students who are appearing in ETA, and there is a short tricks for them. A calculator is not allowed in ETA, or someone uh, they forget their calculator because it's a huge tension so here i am going to teach you how to calculate sine theta and cos theta without calculator so let's start this is cos theta i am writing here is cos theta and here is sine theta we have famous angle that often come in question like zero degree, uh, thirty degree, forty-five degree, sixty degree, and finally ninety degree. So, <clears throat> in today lecture, I will discuss that how you can calculate these without a calculator so be with me okay as we know that cos 0 is equal to 1 so at maximum we will start from maximum value we would start this from 4 then write 3 then write 2 then write 1 and then write zero. This is the first step. For cos theta, we would start from four, three, two, one, zero. For our sine theta, we would start from the minimum. This was from we can say one is from in ascending order, so the other is descending order. So start here from zero, one, two. 3 and 4. Now, divide all these numbers by maximum of these. So the maximum, if we inspect, we observe, the maximum is, is 4. So it would be divided by 4. It would be divided by 4. 4 would be divided by 4. Divided by 4. It would be divided by 4, divided by 4, divided by 4, divided by 4. In the first step, we take the number started from 4 and we to 0 for cos theta. And for sine theta, we take the number from 0 to 4. That is one was from an ascending order and the other was in descending order. In the second step, we divide our number by the highest and the highest here is 4 and third step we take square root of all these taking square root over all number okay now observe some values in these let's observe cos 0 4 divided by 4 will give you 1 and under root 1 is equal to 1. So that's why cos 0 is equal to 1. 0 divided by 4 would give you 0 and under root 0 is again 0. So sine 0 is equal to 0. Let's start this. Cos 90, 0 divided by 4 is equal to 0. So cos 90 is equal to zero whenever we take under root of zero it comes zero four divided by four is equal to one and under root one is equal to one so cos 90 is equal to one let's observe these two cos 45 and sine 45 cos 45 as we inspect from the table this is equal to under root two divided by under root 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4. So cos 45 is equal to 
1 over under root 2. It's so simple. Similarly, sin 45 that is also equal to 1 over under root 2. Cancel this with this and it will become 1 over under root 2. Similarly, you can solve these for all values. If we take for this one, so under root 1 and 4 would come. So this will come like we solved it for this. This will under root 1 and this is under root 4. Under root 4 is basically 2 square. So it will cancel square root and uh, 2 will cancel. So this will come sine uh, 30 is equal to 1 over 2. It would come 1 over 2 and 1 over 2 is equal to 0 0.5. It is so easy peasy. Like a walk, we can say walk in the forest. So in today's lecture, we discuss how to calculate sine theta and cos theta without calculator. There were three steps. In the first step for cos theta, we started writing from 4 to 0 and for sine theta we started from 4 to 0 and the second step we divided all the number by maximum that is 4 where you have sine theta and cos theta and finally we take the square root and simplify that hope it was informative for you it may help somewhere in your life and if you like this video please subscribe our channel for video like this and inshallah i am going to start uh, eta mcqs from my channel in a day or two so be with me thank you